the long slog of how we get to racial inequality and income inequality so that we can create all of these narratives that you said is to make sure that there's haves and have nots and then when people are finding themselves struggling in whatever that is, that we have become a society that more than ever defines poverty as a character flaw. Yes. And once you define poverty as a character flaw, the world is the oyster of the privilege because once there is a character flaw, then you can blame people for their own shooting, their own beatings, their own everything, and then that feeds into filling those prisons full of the customers that they need because now everybody but the 1% has a character flaw that can be justified. And I believe that that is like one of the single biggest things that we talk about. And so the thing with bringing it back to the comedy and the thing that's really interesting is that like I get called out all the time for like, I get called all these dumb names like social justice warrior and all this other bullshit because I actually believe that you're weak ass uh, yelling at me because I actually defend people when you go, I'm an equal opportunity offender. And it's like, no, you're not because there's no equal opportunity. You're just a dick who punches <laughs> down. That's what you are. And so, like, nobody calls them out. And so I said to one dude, I'm like, oh, if you're super edgy, I, first of all, I tell, I'm like the abortion comedian. Go over there. I'm fucking fighting for like shit that's crazy. So, where are your jokes that really take on cops who shoot? innocent people. Where are your jokes about corporate America? If you're so edgy, why are you so desperate to make sure that you are going to call people out who call you out on shit that people don't want to hear because you're tackling people who don't have a voice? And so for me, you know, it's, you take a lot of hits, but I always feel like when the comedy comes, it's like, who's being targeted? Who can I help be a voice, not for, but with? because I don't want to be anybody's voice, but I want to be part of a system of people that are like, let's elevate these voices. So, you know, it's a, it's a very crazy thing um, when we talk about that stuff. Yeah.